everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I've been chosen by some dubious method to be a victim of human experimentation uh, into Morgellons, uh, MK Ultra like mind control. Um, anyway, uh, a few things. Um, First of all, uh, I don't have internet access anymore except through my phone, and I can't edit the comments on my videos. Usually what I do is I just delete any comments that are mean, short-sighted, naive, ignorant, judgmental, anything that says you're on drugs or, or makes me feel unhappy. Um, so I'm asking if one or any of my viewers will be kind enough to look at the comments and if you see anything that is mean and judgmental, just mark it as spam for me and I'd be grateful. Um, there's one comment somebody left about my smoking a cigarette, how that invalidates me as a human being and that because I smoke a cigarette I must be lying about everything I say and how could I possibly be a victim of government mind control because I smoke a cigarette I mean I don't understand that type of mentality other than to think that possibly it's a fervent anti-smoker or somebody who is so rigid in their thinking that um, I've also seen targets act that way but I've also seen perpetrators act that way so uh, you know I think that my choice to smoke a cigarette although I know smoking is killing me it's a choice that I'm weighing against uh, the other things that are killing me you know I wish that I could quit smoking, honestly, I've tried many times, it's really difficult, I'm under constant stress, I have high frequency ringing inside of my head 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, I have people manipulating my emotions and putting thoughts into my head, subliminally programming me while I sleep, playing with the neurotransmitter levels in my brain while I'm asleep, and I don't sleep, by the way, unless I take medication. I have complete insomnia. If I don't take medication, I will stay up until I go insane and become schizophrenic. So I have to take medication to sleep. Um, why smoking a cigarette invalidates me as a human being? I mean, that's just such a... Anyway, let's move on. Um, I just was watching the show on Frontline about assisted suicide. And uh, it's an interesting program, and I recommend that, that people watch it if you get a chance. It's an important issue in this country um, and around the world, the right to die. Uh, unfortunately, the right to die is just as important as the right to live. And as any targeted individual or a person who's been denied their human rights, victims of torture, abuse, warfare, government. We all know what it's like to have our rights violated, uh, denied. The founding fathers in this country claimed they were God-given inalienable rights and uh, I think a lot of people agree with that. Anyway, um, I, I can't watch TV much. I had to turn it off after this uh, program because it was really upsetting. And, and I've become highly sensitized to subliminal uh, information. There was something else I wanted to talk about, but the brain fog has gotten me, so I'll just mention again that uh, during the hardcore phase of this 
um, whatever. I mean, I realized that I had been worked on by these people for like 15 years. My life has been destroyed by them systematically. And I think that I was infected with this Morgellons thing in small doses over time because I had some of the symptoms that I had, but small symptoms. Um, I really don't know how long the remote neural monitoring has been going on, but the high frequency in, this, in the head has been going on for at least three years now. Um, my memory has been affected short term and long term memory, but also my memory is affected because of the sleeping medication and the anti-anxiety medication I have to take because of the panic attacks that I get as a result of, of huge doses of, of hallucinogenics and, and other drugs that we were given. Um, we were living in a hotel room and these drugs were basically aerosol sprayed into our room as we would be in there lying in bed and we would be dosed out of our minds for for days and this was on top of the the other drug that that seems to be given to targets i don't know whether it's a drug or it's exposure to the more gallons or it's something to do with the electromagnetics but it seems to make uh, it starts out with like anxiety issues um, and makes everything seem a little bit bigger and and more important and and emotions are stronger and and the world is just more intense and if you increase the dose it becomes almost like a, a, a mental meltdown know it's a, a like a trip with without really a lot of hallucinations but uh, you know your mental processes get get extremely deep and and um, I was actually regressed you know until I was like two or three years old um, very very powerful hallucinogenic hypnotic and uh, and other drugs, you know, I was um, basically under their control. They took away any choice we had, any control of when we were going to, you know, whether did we want to take drugs, did we want to, you know, could we go out of the house? I mean, there were times we would be awake for days because of the stuff they were giving us and and you know with the Mark Allen's period we, we didn't quite realize fully what was happening until now later looking back and looking at other people's videos about it but it's true we had bugs coming out of us we had creatures coming out of our skin shooting out of us we had creatures jumping into us we had creatures everywhere you know, we were assaulted with with all kinds of of fleas and chiggers and and worms and insects I've never even seen or heard of. The most incredible of it all is that we literally had things shooting out of the tops of our heads. Things that would get larger as they rose up in the air and they would change color when they hit the ground they would change color to match what they were were next to like a camouflage and I just you know the fact that we're in midtown New York with things shooting out of our heads every few minutes and nobody said a word and our eyes are like meow big saucers and and we're going to doctors and psychiatrists and nobody said gee what's the matter with you maybe they were all in on it I don't know, um, but thank you everybody for watching these videos and for caring and God bless everybody who's been targeted. I know that this is the most difficult thing you could ever go through. Um, thanks everybody. I'll talk to you again soon.